the humans are developing this technology much faster than we had expected. We believe they have reversed engineered chair by about 17% in only six months. A rather concerning feat, as the Martians took 16 years to reach this stage. These humans are interesting, innovative and constructive. I shall have to inform the grand shell of their progress. It is a race that we most certainly must watch as part of the Chicken Empire. <sighs> How did we get here? The Outer Space Chicken! Yay! Today. Hello there, sharks. Very nice to meet you. Come along, chair. Oh, nice to meet you chicken. too. Chair. Registration 4.29. Oh, God. Hello there, sharks. My name is Professor Clockington, PhD in Wikipedia History, and I have come here before you to ask for the sum of 40,000 of your most prominent Earth monies in exchange for 10% of the earth holdings of Cook Industries. Today I have come to sell you a technological marvel to brush and mankind that will help push you into the modern space age. I present to you the Celestial Homing Artificial Intelligent Rocket, or in layman's terms, Chair. Now, what exactly is Chair, I hear you asking? Well. I have made this device with the help of the Chicken Empire, and trust me, it's a long and complicated story, but to put it very bluntly, the Chicken Empire spans over 30 different galactic systems with many uh, protected planets underneath it, and Earth is one of those rare planets that is starting to come to fruition of the space age, so we'd like to help you move along a little bit, and we will be doing that with Chair. Chair is a specialist small transportation device. Think like your van drivers, but not quite so slow and inefficient. Using technology that is outdated to the Chicken Empire by around 1900 years, but still a technical marvel to the brushes and humans of this planet, Chair is able, and using your GPS technology to make it easier to integrate into Earth's systems, Chair is able to enter orbit and land anywhere on the planet within the period of seven seconds to three of your Earth minutes, depending on the location. Now, as I've mentioned, chicken, oh uh, chicken, rather, I am the chicken. Chair is a very advanced piece of technology for Earth, animals, but for you, for us, it's very outdated. And unfortunately, some of the technology that is required to allow chair to, say, carry biological creatures like living beings, plant matter, meat, into the outer atmosphere is simply not in place for uh, this product at the moment in time. However, it can carry up to 300 pounds of your Earth pound weight into the atmosphere and somewhere else. Think about it this way. How oh, you can't sit on it. <laughs> I want to try it. I want to try it. Can, can I? I apologize. I, I, I'm sorry. What? Wait, did you create the pyramids? No. That was the Martians. Long, complicated <laughs> story. Can Ask I me later. Uh, uh, yes, of course. Can Mr. I try the chair? Uh, can you can, chair? but uh, uh, just don't. Well, you can't touch anything. It's not programmed to your holographic signature. Yes, please take a seat on chair. Oh. Now, so does chair, it move? Or am I just chair, uh, chair? Would you please take our guest uh, at a forty-five degree angle to the left, three steps? Oh, oh my God! Oh, it's me. And forward, three steps. Onward, three steps. chair. That's it. Can the chair oh. take me to the bar, please? Uh, chair. Yes, oh, apparently oh, he's responding oh, without me oh, having to do so. Oh, wow! Now, oh, chair, chair can do oh, so much more than just chair. go to the bar so and back. Chair. Although it could be used as a medical aid for people who cannot walk properly. Our veterans in the galactic wow. wars, of which there have been many, have used variants of chair without the ability to do its most impressive trick, if you will. But as I was back to my original point, chair is potentially useful for interlinking your planet to help form a united government. For example, in your country known as Africa, you have a problem with water supplies, droughts and food. Why not have a fleet of 300 chairs delivering four or 300 pounds of these products to Africa continuously? Your problems would be solved. 
And if that's not good enough for you because you want to make money off this, and I know how this show works, why don't you sell them to Amazon? Because think about it. How much would Amazon pay to be able to deliver your products within three minutes to anywhere on this planet? I can tell you, an awful bloody lot. A fantastic return. Chair works with technology that if I attempted to explain how it actually worked would cause your brain to most likely catastrophically melt. We had a problem with Pluto with that unfortunately and they, they don't like us that much at the moment. Um, but if I was to use simple layman's terms, Chair has... Ooh, he's over there now. Chair, please remain in place. Protocol 429. Chair has had an Chair, chair, can, chair, can, can... Can Chair take me to the person in this room who loves me the most? He is an artificial Chair, take me to the person in this room who he, loves me the most. Chair, attempt to follow protocol requests from gentlemen sitting on you. Ahead. Take me to the person who loves me. Show me some love. Surely he's not going to go anywhere. Hey! Yay! 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 Oh, no. No, oh, oh. oh! He's not done. Oh, Chair! Oh, Chair! Oh, Chair! Cease protocol! I Chair! Think, think, cease protocol! Think, think, Return to original position! Yeah, guys, I... I, I don't like this chair! Over 300 pounds chair. in the chair. Yeah. I wanna go. Stay. <laughs> Before... I, I beg your pardon, I must explain. Chair has had an artificial intelligence installed into it, which we believe works roughly the same way that a brush and a human's mentality do, to try and bring you at ease with such a technological marvel. Therefore, he's a little bit unpredictable. This is the fifth prototype of Chair that we are using on this planet. As I said, we're attempting to use your GPS systems, mainly because if we can help integrate it into your technology, it allows you to grow further. But as I said, sell them to Amazon. They use thermal transportation phase shifting so that they can literally go through walls without causing any physical damage at all. Nylon power type B thrusters pull hydrogen, carbon, a small amount of oxygen and an element that you're unaware of but is all over this planet called out of the atmosphere to fuel it. Chair can make four trips to anywhere on this planet and return an hour. There are of course limitations on the technology which I bring up in the distance but it's a fantastic piece of technology and can be a true. Can I ask a question about the, the the way it works? You can, but it may melt your mind. Uh, I'm not the scientist who developed purely, it. Purely hypothetically speaking, Go if ahead. I was to get on chair and say, "Take me to Scarlett Johansson's underwear drawer," would it be able to do that? If you were able to get the GPS it. coordinate locations of her underwear drawer. Yes. I you got a guy doing that. that. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. That's take fine. me to Halle Berry's bathroom. However, do not comply, Chair. Why take me to Halle Berry's bathroom. Creatures to transist on Chair without being burnt up in the atmosphere requires a shell-based system, which is a bit too advanced to give to humans and brushes at this moment in time. Therefore, Chair can only be used to carry around innate objects that cannot physically die, like water, food, iPods, or terrible memes, if you will. Brushes! So, there are slight limitations there. But the biggest thing that you this brushes? could potentially... Paint brushes, brushes, yes. You can't kill paint brushes because yeah, they're made out of horse brushes. hair. Now, the biggest potential I mean, benefit he's trying to, say to brush three or five of us on and mankind to this mm -hmm. is many alien visitors will visit you, selling you great products that will do this and that, and all you have to do is sign a small contract. And the next thing you know, you've sold your core to them and your planet is dying. Trust me, I've seen it, it's quite unpleasant. But the chicken empire, the chicken empire doesn't request that. It simply requests that you don't attack us when you become a spacefaring fleet. I mean, if you did, we'd completely obliterate you. Mars used to be so much greener than it currently is. I mean, the War of the Worlds, that was actually a thing, and uh, they had to go at you, and they had to go at us at the same time, and then they all died. It wasn't bacteria, it was our technological marvel weapons, but I don't want to scare you too much. But what I'm pointing to making is, you can reverse engineer chair and develop your own technology to speed up your progression. We have done calculations, roughly, and guesstimated that it would take you around 700 142 years and 13 days to develop technology similar to chair but if you were to reverse engineering it most species are able to develop vehicles that can run off the technology of chair within 45 years of being granted the product but of course okay that's a, that's a great pitch but can we now have a chance for the sharks to ask some questions may i give you a product yeah. demonstration a lot of information our way i've tried to take notes may i give you a product demonstration before we begin 
think my brain's melting. Yes. Yo, please, please, please. Don't I worry. have programmed Chair to do a round trip to Earth, and we have some technology that will allow you to see this, and it will return to its exact position. We've also got a bit of music there to calm you down. Uh, chair, protocol B, journey type 17 to 9. Controls on the back. Initiate. Deleting. Chair, leave at your own will. Up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! So as you can see, the thrusters begin. Oh. In a moment, the phase shifting will allow it to go straight through the building. Now you may Ooh. notice there is a screen here where you oh. can observe what is actually happening. Now I will explain what's going on. As you can see, the thrusters are currently propelling it into space. At this he's point, he's a space. shorter version of shell shielding protects it as it goes through the atmospheric ring. And now, it is in space above planet Earth. Now, Chair is programmed to come back to the exact location, so it will travel around the globe and then use its technical teleportation, as it can do that returning to the atmosphere, to immediately return to the position it was. Also, the face remains there so you know where it's going to land. Even though Chair's thrusters cannot Ooh, physically hurt you, this. if the chair lands on your head, it will hurt you. And gentlemen, <laughs> that is that the is... Celestial Homing Artificially Intelligent Rocket, or Chair. That is okay, the most I'll impressive thing. I hope I don't I die. That was amazing. Oh, wait. Wait, can everyone sit on this? I do believe Chair would allow it. Get on this, this thing. But Chair cannot take off with wait. you on board because you will die. Like overweight detected. Oh. Overweight detected. It's fine. Overweight we, detected. we can try this. Oh, it's overweight. How gone? It's fine. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Winner, I appreciate well, it, but right. I would have to install a module that would allow you to travel safely on chair, and I just cannot risk a good human's life to show a product that I can demonstrate with the it's correct right. module. It's alright, he's not on. a good human, you wouldn't be wasting anything. Yeah, he's a bit of a jackass. Just send chair, I initiate I protocol hey, protection type 29B for cattle transportation to planet Z. Cattle transportation? Bye, Winner, it's been nice knowing you. Mr. Winner, I you're not insured, I'm afraid. The going. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you um. Oh. Um. Ah. Uh, tell my wife that I never this liked her. I can actually see it now. This is the safety mechanism. As you can see, Chair has attempted to take off with an illegitimate load, be it overloaded or something it cannot carry, and it will not take it. Oh, he's just gone. Phases through. He's gone. Now he's, he's gone. gone. Where is he? <laughs> Do you oh, like it? You now, might you not just... come back. Occasionally, prototypes are a little bit unavailable. I just see a little. Actually, I'm fine with the safety mechanism that actually, actually was like selling the idea, and now you're. No. He's got... Oh, oh, he's back. Oh, no. oh. Well, there he is. Chair, I... uh, were you running protocol 17? I can't or feel my legs. F? 17. I can't. Oh, I, I can't move my legs. F. Yes, we shouldn't have run I think, 17. I think... Chair, no more flights today until instructed back at the yard by protocol manager 17B. My legs. Thank you. I did warn no, you, Mr. Winner, that unfortunately you are not insured by uh, Clock Industries or Clock Tech. Uh, thank you, Chair. You may power down. Uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Got... Mr. Well, Mr. Clock, yeah. Hello. I think we all have some questions here. Please, I am all ears to all of the so I, questions. I, I, I have a couple of questions. One, congratulations on a pitch which is you know out of this world and i mean that as a compliment uh question two uh what what is the fuel that chair runs on and a follow-up question uh if is there technology hidden in the chair because we've had this problem before where we buy the chair we reverse engineer it we put it in everything so everything becomes smart and then five years down the line they all sprout weapons and enslave the human race that has happened far too many times <laughs> <laughs> oh, to answer your second question, we stopped doing that millennia ago because we just found it was far easier to integrate societies into our own society. You planet would necessarily become a protectorate of the chicken empire. We would leave you to your own devices whilst protecting you from external threats. If you were to, say, rise up against us, we would obliterate you. It's just the way the chicken empire works, I'm afraid. But no, we have no interest in controlling your little, not necessarily insignificant, but not particularly strategically important to our current goals. We just want to ensure oh, that spacefaring uh, nations can continue to be safe. Okay, I've got a question for you, Chicken Man. Okay. Oh. He answered the fuel question earlier. As for fuel... Yeah, he oh, did. Oh yeah, he did. He Sorry. Did. Yes, you did. Yeah. Grumpy, what's your question? <laughs> So this isn't so much a product-based question, more about your race. Now you've already given a few digs at us brushes. 
Are you a brushist? Not at all. You see, brushes are a very intelligent species that actually dominate over a large part of the galaxy. Would you believe it that the Chicken Empire and the Brush Empire are actually at war and specific rivals for years until eventually the Chicken Empire prospered and was able to overrun the Brush Empire? Now, we could have wiped out every blush, blush, brush in existence, but instead we sent them to various planets to spread their own culture and restart under the united banner of the chickens. Okay. I, I don't Good quite answer. buy it. Here's a practical demonstration. Yeah. Touch my brush. Touch my brush. Oh, He's oh, oh, okay. Okay, no, no, I, I'm reassured. Yeah, I'm reassured. Put your head on my brush. Put your head on my bristles. Head on bristles. This is weird, but oh. I will accept it as a cultural okay. part of Earth. I accept okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm reassured. Yeah, 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 I'm reassured. What do you think of chicken farms? Well, thankfully, human variations chicken of chickens are different to the chicken empire, but it's not cannibalism, so I'm absolutely fine with whatever it is you need to eat. We do not question what the planets under our protective do. One last question. If I was to buy, the, like, put an investment into this, this chair, and we were to have a business meeting, would you be offended if we went to KFC for that meeting? I'm very keen on trying some of your earth chicken. I have tried the various different types of chickens that appear on many planets many times over. Once again, it is not cannibalism, it is simply survival. And I would not want to spit, even though I can't because I have a beak, on your traditions or cultures. If, if like we were to go to that meeting and I described you as being finger licking good, would you take offense? <laughs> and this is why we didn't destroy the brushes. Your sense of humor is only matched by chicken sense of humor. Of course not. I would take it as a massive compliment. Then that pitch, sir, was finger licking good. <laughs> okay, I'm willing to put in an offer. What, what was it you were after in percentage again? So we were offering you 10% of Clock Industries Earth Holdings in exchange for $25,000. Now, if you think about the so profits... I'm willing to offer you the full, the, all of that, the, the full amount, the, the, for the percentage and for the full offer. I will, I will beat that by offering you double the money you came for, for 2% of Cluck Industries Earth Holdings. That is how much I believe in this product. You know what, I'm gonna offer you. I would like, Mr. Clockman, I'd like 20% for 2 million. Could I just lots of point something out, gentlemen? We don't need your Earth money, we're trying to help you advance. Oh, so it's free? I'll, I'll you my oh, you can still give us the money, we'll send it to a museum to be part of the catalogue, but we don't need the money, we wish to help you advance. And what we want How from about you... if I give you... Every a note us? of every oh, single man. currency and a coin of every single currency for the ten percent. So you have all of our Earth money to look at and catalog. Throw in a specific reverse engineering team that focuses on the technology and makes your own variations for the protection of Earth and vassalhood to the Chicken Empire when you become a time. And you have a deal, good man. Yep, um, I'll throw that. Hang on, in. can you say oh, that last? No, no, that, that last part. That that last part sounded like, like slavery. What was the vassal? Slavery. <laughs> vassal. I, I didn't. You said protectorate. Protect, not as vassal. A brush a that has already experienced slavery. That's I can tell you now. I'm in. I accept. Yeah, I'm in too. I I I want to work. I want to yeah. work on this. This. Yeah. Together, you can make a united Earth and a fuck ton of money at the same time, whilst bringing yourselves closer to the stars. So is this is this everybody's in? Have you got an offer from all yeah, five? I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. Everybody's in. Splitting the ten percent. Congratulations. All five of us. So yeah, we each yeah. get two percent, and we all we all invest. Yeah. I'm yeah. In. Yeah. Everyone happy with that? Two percent, yeah. and we yeah, all invest. Yeah. That sounds huh? good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Good man. You've got all of us on board. Excellent. Congratulations. Uh, that's fantastic. Now I'm just gonna. I just. I just want one final request. Take me to the toilet. Yay. Oh, Chair's artificial good. intelligence does yeah. allow him to override some commands from time to time. Ah, Please get on the chair good. before you go to the toilet. Is well, the piss is still in the chair. That is good. Um, on a personal note, if I was to look down your trousers, would I find eggs? No, I'm a man. You'd find a cloaca. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Your hang on. and brush cultures are very weird, but I will accept them. 
Oh, he's he's not lying. He nope. There there's no eggs. There's no eggs. It's fine. Boop. I need to go and see this. I want to see him on the foot. Yeah, I want to see this guy.